Welcome to the Blue Cafe. We offer stories of infidelity, betrayal, and redemption. Please like and subscribe. Cheers. Now, on to today's story. My fiance invited two men who she slept with to our wedding and I'm not okay with it. So my fiance and I are currently going through the process of planning out who we are inviting to our wedding. I'll just say this now, unbeknownst to me my fiance is inviting two guy friends of hers that she hooked up with at the same time. One of these guys is at her bridal party. Now I'm not a prude or anything and I'm not obsessed with her sexual past. I'm a firm believer of ignorance being bliss. But now I'm not ignorant and I'm lacking bliss. I found out because one of my friend's girlfriends is helping us with planning. This girl apparently knew about these guys and told my friend. He then told me. I thought he was just ducking with me and I didn't believe him, then I mentioned it to my fiancé and she said it was true. I didn't like interrogate her, I mentioned it offhand as a stupid remark and she admitted to it and got mad at her friend. So after some thinking I decided I wasn't comfortable having those guys at our wedding. I get that it happened before we met and has really had no effect on our relationship, but I'm just not comfortable with having two guys that Eiffel Towered the woman I'm about to marry at the wedding. I'm not judging her, I'm not not comfortable with it and I don't think that's unreasonable. I'd never invite an ex-fling because she doesn't need to be there. So one of the guys is a good friend of hers and was going to be a bridesmaid. And my fiancé got upset with me. She told me I was being insecure and it's not fair for her to not have her friends on her wedding day. I told her it's just as much my wedding day as it is hers and considering how accommodating I've been to her wants for an ideal wedding, it's kinda selfish for her to not be willing to be accommodating of one request. I don't think I'd feel comfortable saying my vows when directly behind my wife is a guy who grabbed a buddy and slept with her. It's just gross and I don't like it. What should I do? You're just finding out about these friends now? She gets mad that her friend spilled the beans? Something stinks. Edit, apparently op is acting sus. It would be over for me the moment I found out that the friends she has been seeing all this time is someone they used to have sex with and didn't tell the fiancé. I mean, a lot of my close friends are people I've slept with but I can't imagine not telling my partner about that. My ex is now my closest friend. It's always been relatively easy but we also make a point to be open and transparent with our respective partners so that there is nothing to be suspicious of. In fact, it would be weird to me to be secretive about it. It's how we met, but it has very little to do with our relationship now. I'll be at her wedding next month and I couldn't be happier for her. I'm close to a bunch of my exes and have been around their husbands so, but it was more than just sex, we cared about each other and still do, just not that way anymore. But there's a difference if they were secretive about it to the point where everyone is gossiping about that shit and that's how he found out. Yeah, but you're open about the past, and Op's fiancé was not. I have zero problems with any of my wife's exes, because she's always been open and transparent like you. We've even had one of them stay with us for a few weeks, with his wife, when they were moving country and had to vacate their residence before their flights out. It's the open communication that is key to strong trust in a relationship. My ex is now my best friend also. We had an amicable breakup as we realized we just weren't compatible in a lot of ways. There was some other stuff too but he really is like a brother to me now. His girlfriend and I talk a lot and, while she and I have not hung out individually, we've all hung out as a group on a number of occasions. She is definitely aware that he and I dated. Any future partners of mine will be aware of this also. I would definitely expect to be included in his wedding somehow. Maybe not as a groomswoman nor bridesmaid but as an usher or guest book person or something. We've said we're like a chosen family at this point. If I ever got married, he would definitely be included in the wedding as well. I'm in your corner. I would not be comfortable at all if I was getting married and my groom to be invited a woman that he had previously slept with. Also, the fact that she never told you is super sketch. 
Personally, I wouldn't be able to enjoy my day knowing a guest at the wedding had previously felt my groom's penis inside her. Call me insecure, but that's how I see it. I'm in your corner. I would not be comfortable at all if I was getting married and my groom to be invited a woman that he had previously slept with. Also, the fact that she never told you is super sketch. Personally, I wouldn't be able to enjoy my day knowing a guest at the wedding had previously felt my groom's penis inside her. Call me insecure, but that's how I see it. It's human nature. See his post in Ita. In there he said that he went by the rule if ignorance is bliss that's probably why she didn't tell him. Someone asked. He also edited his posto a lot because he talked about his GF like she was a thing and not a person. He came here because he was called TA there so he changed the story with the points people used there so he could get agreement here. Interesting how he left the donkey duct line out of this post. He edited it out, crying face. I mean, it's colorful language, is it even an English idiom? Maybe he just translated it. Plus, donkeys are way more cute than the Eiffel Tower, it's just weird prejudice against words emo. He also deleted comments he made. Link to Ita post. Am I the asshole? So my fiancé and I are currently going through the process of planning out who we are inviting to our wedding. I'll just say this now, unbeknownst to me my fiancé is inviting two guy friends of hers that she hooked up with at the same time. One of these guys is in her bridal party. Now I'm not a prude or anything and I'm not obsessed with her sexual past. I'm a firm believer of ignorance being bliss. But now I'm not ignorant and I'm lacking bliss. I found out because one of my friend's girlfriends is helping us with planning. This girl apparently knew about these guys and told my friend. He then told me. I thought he was just ducking with me and I didn't believe him, then I mentioned it to my fiancé and she said it was true. I didn't like interrogate her, I mentioned it offhand as a stupid remark and she admitted to it and got mad at her friend. So after some thinking I decided I wasn't comfortable having those guys at our wedding. I get that it happened before we met and has really had no effect on our relationship, but I'm just not comfortable with having two guys that Eiffel Towered the woman I'm about to marry at the wedding. I'm not judging her, I'm not not comfortable with it and I don't think that's unreasonable. I'd never invite an ex-fling because she doesn't need to be there. So one of the guys is a good friend of hers and was going to be a bridesman? And my fiancé got upset with me. She told me I was being insecure and it's not fair for her to not have her friends on her wedding day. I told her it's just as much my wedding day as it is hers and considering how accommodating I've been to her wants for an ideal wedding, it's kinda selfish for her to not be willing to be accommodating of one request. I don't think I'd feel comfortable saying my vows when directly behind my wife to be as a guy who grabbed a buddy and donkey ducked her. It's just gross and I don't like it. Ita? She got mad at the friend because the friend told Opto. I don't think your reasoning as to why she didn't tell him is the right one. Also, he just used slangs like devil's threesome and donkey duct and which are just used as joking slangs most of the time. Did not sound like he talked about his GF like she was a thing and not a person. He was obviously upset by her being ignorant of his feelings and hence made this post. People say silly, rude shit all the time when pissed. She got mad at the friend because the friend told Opto. I'd be pretty pissed if my friend started talking about my sexual history unprovoked tbh. The original wording in the Ita post was pretty gross. We don't know the intricacies of their relationship and it's understandable to be confused and upset by something like this but we can't sit here and truly understand why his fiancé didn't tell him about these guys. This. I had someone I had slept with, years prior to meeting my husband, in my bridal party. My husband knew what we had done way beforehand and was consulted to make sure he was comfortable. I did not try to hide it from him and get mad when someone else mentioned it. Didn't like the judgment on Ita so you posted here too? Bold move. Ita is a dumpster fire sub. Facts. I read it for the entertainment value but it's mob mentality. 
The first entier or erta denotes the entire thread. People look to see what other people have said then expound on it. Their first reaction to everything is leave them. Your boyfriend are the last jello from the fridge at 2 am. Leave him. It's a sign of narcissism and why was he up at 2 am anyways? Probably plotting your murder while he enjoyed a cool, fruit flavored snack. Exactly, I thought comments on that sub were wrong too. Only on Reddit would be an asshole for not wanting men at your wedding who banged your wife. Very biased and unbalanced judgments. They are quick to ban without explanation. Update, my fiancé invited two men who she slept with to our wedding and I'm not okay with it. So the wedding is being either postponed and potentially called off. I gave her an ultimatum, she could either have them at the wedding or me at the wedding. She didn't choose me immediately which hurt. Like two guys she banged a few years ago meant more to her than the person she wanted to marry. She said she needed time to consider it. Now admittedly after that I was feeling incredibly insecure and panicking. While she was in the shower I checked her phone. I know it's shitty and controlling, but I found out she had slept with one of them just before I proposed. She had been sleeping with the guy that was supposed to be in her bridal party occasionally and every one of her friends knew. Apparently she stopped after the proposal but still. I saw her talking about it in a group chat with her girlfriends saying she was saying she was worried that if she uninvited him to the wedding and cut him off, he'd tell me. So I confronted her, she cried said she was being stupid and it was a mistake, that her friends convinced her that it was okay if I never found out, that she was regretful and stopped after I proposed. Now here I am. The wedding is postponed indefinitely. I really do love her and want to be with her, but I'm not sure if this is a thing we can work through. I'm very upset and hurt and lost. Don't just postpone the wedding, cancel it entirely. This went from her having former sex partners in the wedding to cheating while you were together. This is not someone you want to marry and potentially have children. Never mind the wedding. The relationship needs to be postponed. Indefinitely. Op needs to take this as a blessing. He was prevented from making potentially the biggest mistake of his life. She was really going to have a man she was cheating with as a member of her wedding party. There are no words for the level of ick this is at. There is no relationship, unless Op wants to keep a three-way going. Or was it a four-way? Yeah. That's what I meant by postponed indefinitely. He needs to dump, block, go North Carolina and then let time heal. Isn't this basically just the plot of that one Maroon 5 song I write sins not tragedies? OMG exactly that. You don't want kids with this person, op. Let her have her duck boys, she deserves them. Move on and find someone worthy of your love. She ain't it. Yeah this isn't even a grey area or discussion type situation at all, at this point, the woman has been cheating quite a bit. It's not worth spending one more second here. And inviting them. She didn't just cheat on him, she was so brazen she invited them to the wedding. Bonus points, her friends who likely would have also attended the wedding knew about this. It's a joke at Op's expense and everyone but him is in on it. Honestly, the audacity behind this makes it hard to believe this is real. Exactly. Get the duck out Op and find someone else. I'd be more concerned with the cheating. Ah uh, good, I'm not the only one who picked up on the part where Op's fiancé had been cheating on him right up to the proposal. I feel like that part really shouldn't be glazed over. She's still cheating. Just too busy planning the wedding. Planning how she can include the affair partners in the wedding. Or planning how to bang this guy on a wedding day. Makes me wonder, if Op makes the horrible decision to give her a second chance, will he be allowed to attend the wedding night or will he have to sit it out? With her friends cheering her on in the background. Here comes the bride. Deadpool was right always wear white so people can't tell. Lamau. We hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Please comment, like and subscribe. Cheers. Have a wonderful day or night. Wherever you are.